Aloha, welcome to this lesson video for an application of rational expressions, more specifically working with work rate problems. So these are kind of cool. Um, every time I've taken the compass test, um, I've always seemed to get one of these work rate problems. So you might see them again, especially if you're getting ready for a um, college entrance exam. Uh, but here's kind of how they work. They're often used to calculate how long it'll take different people working at different speeds to finish a task. So like if um, Jimmy can do a job in two hours and John can do the same job in three, if the boss puts them both on the job together, how long will it take them um, working together to finish the job? So uh, these are kind of cool. This is kind of the general work formula that we might manipulate depending on the problem we're given. The W stands for the work that's been done. Um, so like one room painted or three cars washed, whatever you know you're given in the in the actual scenario. The let's see, R is the work rate for that person, um, and T is the time spent doing the work. So there are you know three versions because you could solve this equation for W, you could solve this for equation for R where you would divide by T. So W divided by T and um, you could solve the equation for t where you divide by r so w divided by r um, honestly really the middle one's probably what we're going to use the, the most work uh, divided by the time so there like i said there are many different ways a problem could be presented so some work problems have multiple machines or or people working together on a project um, for the same amount of time but at different rates we can add individual rates um, to get a total work rate. So here's an example of that. Uh, Myra takes two hours to plant 500 flower bulbs. Francis takes three hours to plant 450 flower bulbs. Working together, how long should it take them to plant 1,500 bulbs? So here's kind of my process. Uh, I'm talking about two people, Myra and Francis. And, you know, an individual rate comes from the work divided by the time it took to get that work done. So, you know, Myra, she can plant 500 bulbs in two hours. So 500 work is the work over the time two. Now make sure your, your time is in um, the same units. So like someone can't be in minutes and someone in hours. You'd have to do a conversion there. Francis takes three hours to plant 450 bulbs. So Francis's work rate is 450 divided by three. Now, these guys, these guys can reduce. So this becomes 250 and this becomes, oh, I believe it's 150. Okay, uh, but here's what I wanna know, Myra and Francis working together, so Myra plus Francis, um, will equal 1,500 bulbs getting planted, how fast? So I'm solving for that T. Okay, so the com what's the combined Mary plus Francis work rate? 1,500 over the time, which is what we're solving for. So plug in what I know about Mary and Francis. Sorry, not Mary, Myra. <laughs> Myra is 250, Francis is 150 still equals this fraction, 1,500 divided by t. I can add these together. Let's see, what's that going to be? 0, 0, 400. And now it's just kind of like an Algebra 1 equation. I need to solve this. But the problem is t's in the denominator. So I needed to multiply by t on both sides to get t out at the bottom of the fraction. So 400 t equals 1500. And then I simply just, need, whoops, I simply need to divide by 400 on both sides. So you know those zeros cross out. And so I'm basically needing to know what's 15 divided by four. Let's see. So that's going to give me three, come on, 3.75. So three 
and three quarters, and we're talking hours. So I kind of like to convert it to minutes, three and three quarters of an hour. So three hours and how many minutes would be three fourths of an hour? Um, a quarter of an hour is 15, so three 15 minutes would be 45. So three hours and 45 minutes would be the time it would take Myra and Francis working together to plant 1,500 bulbs. Okay, so in a, in a business aspect, these work rate problems are actually really useful. Okay. Um, here's another problem. Let's see what happens. Jamie, Priya, and Paul can paint a room together in two hours. If Priya does the job alone, she can paint the room in five hours. If Paul works alone, he can paint the room in six hours. If Jamie works alone, how long will it take her to paint the room? Okay, so it seems like I know a combined rate based on that first sentence. Jamie plus Priya plus Paul have a combined rate of they can paint a room, so the work is one room getting painted in the time two hours. Okay, so this is the combined work rate of these three people. But then they also give me a little more insight. They tell me that individually Priya's work rate is she can paint a room, so one over five. She can do it by herself in five hours. Paul, uh, if he works alone, he can paint a room, so one room, in six hours. And I'm trying to find Jamie's individual rate. How long will it take her to paint one room? So one over T for Jamie. So then these rates, plug them into this combined kind of like formula we've got started. One over T plus Priya was one over five plus Paul was one over six. And this combined is a half. Okay, uh, here's where we're, we have a connection to rationals. To be able to add these fractions together, they all need the same denominator. So there, there are a couple ways you could think about this, but here's what I do. I know I've got a five, a six, and a two. So what's the least common multiple? Um, let's see, I believe I can go with 30. I'm gonna try to make all of these fractions have a 30T, don't forget we have a variable, 30T on the bottom. So this first fraction already has the T, but it's missing the 30. So I'm gonna multiply the first one by 30. Let's see, what can I multiply five by to get to 30? I can multiply by six, but this fraction doesn't have the T at the bottom, so I need to multiply by 6T. What can I multiply 6 by to get to 30? A 5, but I need the T again. So times 5T. And let's see, mm, 2 times what? 2 times 15, but again, it needs the T as well. So hopefully you can see that all these guys are going to have a 30T in the denominator, and we just need to fix the tops. So 30 over 30t plus 6t over 30t plus 5t over 30t should equal 15t over 30t. You know what, that's a bad 15. It's a little slightly misleading, so let me fix it. Okay. Now, if you watched my solving rational um, equations, then you know what to do from here. If not, you might want to go back and catch it. Um, since all the numbers are the same, technically, I can just grab all the numerators and treat it like a little equation. So let me just take this apart. 30 plus 6t plus 5t equals 15t and just solve that if, as if it were like an Algebra 1 equation. And so the first thing I need to do would be to combine my t's on the left side. So I would have 30 plus 11t will equal 15t. Now I need to get my t's on the same side. So I'm gonna subtract this 11t. And 
And so I'm going to get 30 equals 4t, which I'm going to divide by 4. I'm kind of running out of room, so I'll have to do it kind of like a sideways. There we go. So those are gone. And so t is going to equal 7.5. So again, we're talking hours. So, hmm, poor Jamie. She's a little slow. It takes her seven and a half hours, seven hours and 30 minutes, oh my goodness, to paint a room by herself. Poor Jamie. All right, I think I've got one more. Yeah, okay. So this one works a little different. This one's, um, I guess, a little more complicated. One pipe can fill a pool one and a half times faster than a second pipe. If both pipes are open, the pool can be filled in six hours. If only the slower pipe is open, how long would it take to fill the pool? Okay, so as far as, you know, people, we don't have people that we could identify with initials and figure out their work rates. But I do have two pipes. I've got a fast pipe and I've got a slow pipe. And how is it given? It's one pipe can fill a pool one and a half times faster than a second pipe. Okay, so can I say it backwards that the slower pipe is one and a half times slower? Okay, so you want to think about who should have more time. Both pipes, they're talking about filling one pool. Who should have a bigger time number, the faster pipe or the slower pipe? Well, the slower pipe should have a bigger denominator since it takes him longer. He should have the bigger time, okay? So I'm going to set the fast pipe's time to be x, okay? Because I don't know exactly what it is. So then that means since the slower pipe is one and a half times slower than the fast pipe, my slower pipe's rate is going to be one and a half times the fast pipe, x. Okay, and so whatever I plug in for x in the slower pipe, I'm going to multiply it by one and a half, which would make the number bigger, which like we talked about makes sense. The slower pipe should have the bigger denominator. Okay, so make sure the right one is being multiplied by that factor. Okay, now they also told me that when the fast and the slow pipe work together, so a combined rate, they can fill one pool in six hours, so one over six. So then I'm just going to plug in these um, individual rates. 1.5x equals 1 over 6. And so I want to get them all the same. And I believe, let's make sure. Yeah, I think if I do 1.5 times 4, I can get a 6. So I'm going to make all these fractions have 6x at the bottom. So the first fraction has the x, it just needs the 6. Like I said, the second fraction, if I multiply by 4, 4 times 1.5 will turn into a 6. And it has the x, which is good. This last fraction, it has the 6. It just needs the variable. Okay? So for the sake of time and space, I'm going to do two things at once. I'm going to multiply and clean up the tops, but also just steal them and write it as an equation. So 6 times 1 is 6, plus 4 times 1 is 4 will equal 1 times x, which is x. Okay? So then x equals 10. But now, i got to go back to the question. Remember what x was. x was the time for the fast pipe. Is that what they asked me for? Um, if only the slower pipe is open. Okay, so I only have the fast pipe right now. So I've got to take this and plug it in. One and a half times 10. Okay, and so the slow pipe, working alone, it needs 15 hours. Okay, and that's what the question asked for. Okay, so you got to be careful. Make sure that you're, you're answering what it is they want. Um, but that finishes up this video. Uh, and our talk about rationals. So here's what's coming up next. Um, but like I said, that's it for this one. So keep learning, have fun, and I'll see you next time.